It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage. Hey, everybody, this is Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express, nine-time NWA World Tag Team Champions, 2017 WWE Hall of Famer. You are listening to Can Crusher Wrestling Podcast. And welcome back to another Can Crusher Spotlight. I am your host, Mark the Mark Martinez. Guys, this podcast is going to be radical. I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep up with the energy of these guys coming on the show. Yes, we have another tag team coming on the show. Hashtag book more tag matches. It's going to happen. We're going to keep that hashtag alive as long as we can. Hashtag book more tag matches. And these guys are high freaking energy from start to finish. They bang a lot or they drink a lot of bangs. Maybe I should have said it that way. But they do all that. They are the Rad Boys. The Rad Boys are all over the place, up and down the East Coast right now, just drinking bang. I do not know if I'm going to be able to corral the craziness that they're going to bring to Can't Crush Your Nation. But after you hear from Al Snow and Collar and Elbow, the Rad Boy Nation is coming. Guys, you know Collar and Elbow, hats, hoodies, tees, all that great stuff that they have at Collar and Elbow. You see me wearing my Blue World Order, my Dusty shirt, my favorite Macho Man shirt, all the time from Collar and Elbow. We have a promo code for you. Go check them out at collarandelbow.com, and then when you check out, use the promo code CANCRUSHERS. All one word, capital C and CAN, capital C and CRUSHERS. You'll receive 10% off, which is essentially shipping. So you're just paying for your shirts. Here comes Al, and then be ready to party. It's going to be a banger as the Rad Boys are joining Can Crushers real quick. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. The wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. Collar and Elbow is the brand. Passion and love for wrestling is the drive. I am Al Snow, and this is Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Welcome back to Can Crushers. Guys, I told you this is going to be a rad, rad podcast. I'm super excited. The Rad Boy Nation is taking over Can Crusher Nation as we have the Rad Boys, Jake Wiley and Braden Elliott. Gentlemen, I'm sure you guys are just bouncing off the walls. How the hell are you doing tonight? Rad. Ah! <laughs> Enough said. Thanks for coming on the show. No. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Ah. You're welcome. What? What? Uh, how many are you on so far? The bangs. No, mm, I lost count. Unbelievable. I have a bunch laying around though here. Yeah, I think I got a problem. Feel his legs. He had so many. Yeah, they're 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 still shaking. But it gets you going. It, it, it gets you going for matches. It gets you going for life. It makes you climb trees too, doesn't it? The Energizer Bunny has nothing on us. Touche. Touche. Yes. So the Rad Boys taking over Imagine, but also taking over everywhere else. You guys are up and down the, the border right now, and it's pretty awesome. But we'll get there. We'll get there and find out where you're going to be and everything. Let's find out, because Can Crushers has spoken to Braden Elliott before. We don't know much about Jake Wiley, but he's getting his own show. So this is all about the Rad Boy Nation. Um, 
how the hell did you guys connect? Because at one point, uh, Brayden was an assassin. Mm, yes. Agent 47. Right. <laughs> 007. Don't you do me like that, Jake. Come on. <laughs> okay, next question. Really? You didn't answer the first one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Bang. Sorry. Too many. Okay. So, I'll let, I'll let Braden here start the story, and then I'll end it. Well, so... I I love tag team wrestling, and I I really 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 wanted to be in a tag team, and I really wanted to express myself and not play somebody else anymore. So I I, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to be more of who I am in real life and be more of an energetic character because that's what I am. You are. You really are. And I, I felt that Jake was just, I, I guess I could say a yin to a yang here. Uh, he He's helping me in other ways that I I didn't know I, I could do. He's helping me in certain aspects as a wrestler that I never got to showcase before. And I'm helping him in those ways as well, uh, as far as certain things like, uh, like technical wrestling, everything like that. But I asked Jake because I didn't think there was anybody else that could get in there and really step up to it and bring the best out of me, if that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. It does. Because mm. you, you said it best. Now, Jake, I'll let you answer in a second. You see it in matches yes. that you are the yin, the yang. Um, I was going to bring that up. I have that in my notes. But, Jake, do you second any of that? I second all of it. I, Whenever whenever Braden approached M- moi to join this tag team, I mean, it, it, it we're like the perfect combination. Like, it's like... You know, peanut butter and chocolate. That's so much better. Yeah, than yeah. Mm, yeah. Yummy. Yeah, yeah. Cheese and pepperoni on your teeth. <laughs> yes. Bang and bang. You could have been the Bang Brothers, but we're PC. <laughs> Not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Copyright, maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, so like Brayden was saying, I just think like... We, we, we pull something out of each other that neither one of us thought that we had originally. Like, and I think like we were both in kind of like a, like a gray area. And then whenever the opportunity got there, I mean, it just exploded and it, the train hasn't stopped and it's not going to stop. Well, all wrestlers say that if you stop training, then you should stop wrestling because even the greats, um, we we're recording this right after that we heard that um, beautiful Bobby passed away. You know, he trained until, mm. you know, the, the last day he was ever in the ring. Or Shawn Michaels, or you know, and we'll get about all these tag teams who I think you guys are um, in my own mental head that I have going on. But you hear the great saying, if you stop training, you should stop wrestling because nobody's perfect. Agreed. 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 Good. Good. We're all we're all on board there. We all agreed. We all agree. Let's have a drink, boys. <laughs> yes. Where, where's mine at? Oh, I lost it. Which one of these is full? Okay. Found it. Found it. So why there? There's so many energy drinks out there. Um, why did we pick Bang? What, and they are not a sponsor, but hopefully. You guys will help one day. me get one day oh, for both of us. For both of us. Yes. Um, Bang Energy. If you're listening, sponsor us. All we us. love eighteen. All eighteen of your favor of your flavors. All hey, of them. 40. What? There's forty flavors. Is it there? There including, is. Including, including Seven Eleven exclusives and everything. Ooh, else. swirly pop. Oh yes. So what are what are our favorites? 
You already said mine, so there it is. Go ahead. Key lime pie is amazing. Obviously, up there, radical, skedadical. Candy apple crisp. Candy apple mm. second for me. Which I just chugged. Mmm. Peach mango. Oh, oh, delicious as well. It's also our colors. It is your colors. That's with that. Thank you for that segue because yeah, you're welcome. That's and where the keto I, coffee ones are disgusting. No, yeah, I'm not a big fan of coffee. No, that's actually what I drink every morning. Any of the coffee no. ones. I, I'm a, I, well, I'm a coffee connoisseur of the bang. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. they make alcohol now too. They do. They make hard seltzer. And we I, those I have not tried. Me either. Because yeah, you, guys, need, you guys are young. You're still you're still good. You you don't need to be getting into that alcohol yet. Party time. Party time. Um. <laughs> So you guys both said, you know, key lime pie, radical scatical, all those. Why peach mango is your colors then if it's not your favoritist, as I mispronounce that word? Favoritist? Yeah, favoritist. Just, just. I like that word. We'll keep it. Okay. Peach mango is good. I mean, it's definitely up there, but. It's not quite the level of rad. Yeah, it's rad because it has peach, but it it's not rad. It's rad because it has our colors, but it's not like the greatest rad flavor that they have. It, it's a whole home older person flavor. It's, okay, it's peach and it's two fruits. You know, it's strawberry, <laughs> banana, grapes, and watermelon. Yeah, anybody can put two fruits together and add energy to it. It's the key in the lime. Or if we're talking about that, Braden's favorite over here, pumpkin. Oh yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not pumpkin season yet. We're not it, just because it's the middle of August. We don't need to start talking about spice lattes or anything like that. Trust Stop. me, he's already been doing it. Oh, you wait. <laughs> that that might get lower ratings for us now. Thank you, because it will not because it's going to involve the rad boys. Okay. Good, good job. Good job. Rad boys or nothing. Can't crush your zero. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys in Imagine Wrestling, let's stick on that for a little bit. Have You have a daunting task, first and foremost, on August 21st, as you're going to be taking on James uh, Sega and Vance Valor. And um, that that's a that's a noteworthy team, but there's other in the in the realms because we have a a huge of uh, match going on there between the main event and the watch. Uh, you've been in the ring with both of them. Both of them have um, you know they they've been in the ring with you. Let's just say it at that. Um, the I watch, don't like the watch. The watch are horrible human beings. And they are. I have my own issues with the main event uh, that we won't bring up on this podcast. They know, though. Duke and Gannon know. So, um, let's talk about your first ma- the match uh, on August 21st. How are you going to get by these guys to essentially get your name in that title hunt to face one of these two teams? Well, last time. Yeah, we already beat them once. Right. Right. And I and I've already beaten plenty of Sega game systems, okay? This one this guy is is nothing. Right. He's like a Dreamcast. He's not even a Sega. He he he's a worthy opponent and he's a big big guy. And he did knock my head off last time, but uh who got the the W in that one? I I think it was you. I think it was you. Braden, who, who 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 did? I can't. I, I I maybe the bang's starting to get to me. I picked him. <laughs> That's right. So <laughs> so you're look you're essentially looking past these two then. Don't get me wrong. They they're they're tough guys, and they're big guys, and they're scary a little bit, especially Valor. I think I just think we have the advantage over them. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah you're yeah, up I, one nothing essentially. Right. Yes. And you have home field advantage. 
because it's at the Juniata Civic Association oh. building in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I like the early start, by the way, of 4 o'clock, because everybody can then run home to watch SummerSlam, which, you know, yeah. thank you, Imagine um, Corporation. Uh, I have to bring up his name. Thank you, Cato, for thanking all of us other wrestling fans that want to get home and watch SummerSlam as well. On the Peacock, that probably won't work anyway. <laughs> Uh, peacock. Yeah. So main event then, you know, say the main event gets the win against the watch. Um, these guys are huge guy, gigantic human beings. Um, what, what would be your, uh, you know, your MO taking on them without giving away your strategy, of course. Um, well, Main event or friends. We'll take them out at the kneecaps. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Sweep the leg, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I, I guess we're going to do that. We're going to take out their kneecaps. Okay. Take out their Get kneecaps, the pin them, because once a big man's down, he's down. Mm, well, one of them might fall victim to the double dare, so... Ooh, and we haven't spoken about that yet. Uh, and it's coming. And then you have the Watch as well, the current tag team champions. Um, and they're just a horrible bunch of human beings. Horrible. They are. But... Bang. Braden, we didn't hear you. They don't even drink Bang. They don't. They don't. They don't drink Bang, so they're not rad. Not so even. we already have that one up on them. And... If there's any anybody, any two guys on this roster that knows the watch better, it's Braden and myself. For sure. You guys have battled with them for a long time. Uh, Braden has been taken out by them. So, yeah, they're, they're just essentially putrid human beings. That will They are. I mean, I, I used to team with them. Yeah, I know. But you've uh, seen the light. I hate ginger ale, by the way. Yeah, you ginger ale is... Let's talk about ginger ale, because that's a great topic. Um, when, yeah. do you, when do you actually Ew. drink ginger ale? <laughs> I hate ginger ale. Okay. There's too much sugar in soda. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there? I agree. Too much. Rad boys would never drink soda. We don't like sugar. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, as we you're... Just... Just intravenously putting into your veins. <laughs> yeah. That hasn't been proven. Not yet. Not yet. But that's what gets you going. So, the double dare. Um, which brings me back to, you guys had to have been huge 80s fans. Because anytime I think of double dare, I think of Mark Summers. And I think of running around in a huge hamster wheel. And getting slimed and picking boogers out of a nose to get a flag to win some sweet British night shoes. I always oh. wanted to be on that show, and I never was. I, As for guts. Guts. Nice. Favorite one mm. was Hidden Treasure, though. Ah. Yeah. But you mean um, Temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple? Yes, that's what I meant. Yes. Yes. But were you, which, which, uh, which color were you? The green monkeys, the, green the blue monkey. barracudas. I'm, I'm a huge ah. fan of green, yeah. So are we. Right? <laughs> so why, just because you guys were huge fans of Double Dare, is that why uh, we, we stuck with that name, the 80s thing? Because uh, I essentially see you guys as being a 90s cartoon as well in the form of Doug. <laughs> Doug funny? Yeah. Why does everyone say I look like him? Maybe. <laughs> 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 Wait, no, that was Roadrunner. What was Skeeter's thing? Oh, Dang it! I I can't remember right now. It, it's it's over my head. The yeah. bangs kicking in too much. So I did not know that, Braden. Did they really call you Doug? I, I really <laughs> did not know that. I, it, Doug's just one of my favorite cartoons from that era. And this is when me at the age of like twenty five, I'm watching Doug without a child at this point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Being yeah. funny. Yeah. Oh, gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. All right. So 
Let's talk about where you guys get your inspiration for the Rad Boys. And let me throw it out there first. Because I see a bit of the high energy. I see the rockers. But I also hmm. see... Um, and, and this is where I probably won't be PC. Um, you, you guys are also like the, and don't hate me for this, the midgets, like Sky Low Low and Little Beaver, because you guys are the energy. Not that you guys are small or anything like that. You guys would beat the piss out of me. I'm just saying the energy that the midgets bring is all wrapped up in you guys. It's not a, hmm. it's not a disgrace. Please, you, you've watched, you know major wrestling back in the day um they just run around all the time and that's what you guys do you i mean i know it's the bang but what where did you guys get your inspiration from what tag team was like yep this is what we're gonna watch and this is what we're gonna pull some stuff from the hardy boys okay uh I, the new day for sure mm-hmm so you guys are all newer. Damn it! I should have went newer. Well, we we have some old school in there. We watched a lot of Rock and Roll Express. Yeah, absolutely. Love Rock and Roll. Yes, my favorite tag team uh, of all time. And then, obviously, you've already said it: the Rockers. Okay. Freaking high energy. You know. Not any part of it. Um, the high energy just kind of came from us because, like. We were kind of already like little energetic as is, and then then we stumbled across Bang, and then it just it it went it went up the mountain from there. I, I was pulling the colors from High Energy, essentially. You know, not that, yeah. I mean, you you, you kind of already, spin on them. Yeah, like you kind of already already named like where we got the inspiration of the colors and stuff, like. Obviously, the greatest thing ever, uh, 90s Nickelodeon. Right. Yes. Love Nickelodeon. Yes. I do, too. That was my serious voice. Slime somebody, you will. We will slime somebody. Mark our words. Sean Ross, you just wait. You too, Alpha. Baldy. Nice. All right, let's take a little break. I mean, we essentially did take a break from wrestling there for a while. But uh, how much wrestling are you guys watching now of of current stuff or, again, Rock and Roll Express or anything like that that you sit down and enjoy and not do tape study for? Mm, I watch wrestling every day. Yeah, me too. It's the only thing on. I will, I will say... And I know, I know, uh, Braden's thoughts on this too. So I'll speak for the for the two of us with this one. One of our favorite tag teams in current day, the Young Bucks. I said it. I about three months ago would have stopped this because <laughs> I didn't like when they they were faces or kind of halfway in between or anything. But now that they're just son of a guns and just rubbing it in our faces. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. I love them. They're doing what they need to do, and they sell the merch. They move the, the needle on their shows. They're over. They've always been mm-hmm. over. But, yeah, um, I, I like them. They're not my favorite right now, but I, I do. I will not skip past it when we're doing the weekly wrap-up anymore. Let me ask you a question. Sure, I love this. Go ahead. Who is your current, in today's era of wrestling, favorite tag team? <sighs> a lot of people are going to laugh. They they really are. I'm a I'm a huge fan of any Dark Order combination. I uh, we love the Dark Order. Right. We love Silver and Alex Reynolds. Yes. <laughs> Yes, John Silver is hilarious. Yeah, I, I I love them. He could be he could be the third Rad Boy. He should be the third Rad Boy. He or or you guys should go <laughs> join the Dark Order because you guys deserve to go to AEW and be on that show and be part of the Dark Order. Can we be or, the wear bright colors? <laughs> well, one of you will take over, I think. 
I, I would think one of you would take over and you would make the overhaul. It might not be the Dark Order anymore. It might be the Rad Order. The Rad Order. Oh, oh, now you speak about <laughs> So, uh, do you do you keep uh, Anna J with you guys? Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I... we be- then we beat up Jungle Boy. Everybody wants to beat up Jungle Boy <laughs> for that reason. <laughs> yes, lucky. So you guys watch wrestling every every day of the week, which I, I do too. Um, when do you find time to you know kind of nerd out? Because. I would imagine you guys. You said you you beat every Sega game out there. Um, when do you find time to play some video games or kind of unbang? Mm. Well, there's never a moment throughout the day that we're that probably either one of us are not on bang. But I just crash from it. I I drink bang while I'm sleeping. That's the intravenous thing. I told you. <laughs> See how that all wraps back around. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. I mean, but video games? Are you guys huge video games fans as well? Uh, I used to be a huge video game fan. Now it's just like the occasional play when you get a chance. Yeah. Um, our schedules have been getting real busy lately. It is. I just but saw that recently. I'm waiting would... for somebody in Auburn. Yes, that is going to be fun. I, again, Brayden sounds like he's uh, not in Altoona, that he's in Johnstown. <laughs> well, he's probably say? running while, he, while he's on the phone. Oh, probably. What game did he say? <laughs> Nickelodeon All Brawl. Oh, yes. Is that, uh, is that really coming out? It is, and it's coming out for all major platforms. Oh, my God. Rad Boy should get a free copy. Just throwing that out there. I, yes. Make that happen. What'd you say, Brayden? When we when we play, I call Reptar. Call him dibs now. Uh, of course he picks Reptar. He's probably the most OP character. I'm picking Patrick. Oh. I'm picking Tommy. Or, I'm taking Tommy. Well, I have you both beat, actually. I just I figured out who I'm gonna play. Doug. <laughs> no. Nigel Thornberry. Oh. Do I have to be Doug? You have to be Doug. Yes, you actually, if Doug's in it, which I'm pretty sure he is, you have to play Doug. Sorry. He is. <laughs> Hands down, you have to be Doug all the time. And we have to have this, uh, we have to stream us playing against each other. Just all out battle yes. when this happens. It, it is coming. We, we've we already talked about that. So uh, whenever we get our YouTube up and started, which is currently in the works, that is going to be on there. Yes. See? Perfect. Uh, so what else, what else is going on? You, you guys have, you brought up, you have a full schedule. Um, what, what, where, where else are you going? Last weekend, you were just making your debut at IWC and that was pretty awesome. Uh, you saw on our Facebook page and you guys' Instagram and everything, we enjoyed a bang together. Yes. It was very good. Very delicious. And, and that IWC, what a ruckus house, isn't it? It was totally a different experience. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, but it's a great place. So besides Imagine this coming weekend and actually the following weekend as well, on the 28th, where else are you guys going? Jake, do we tell them where we just we just popped up at? Yes, tell them. Pro Wrestling Tees. Yeah, Brad boys are on pro wrestling tees. So you're going to have merch with you this coming weekend then? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Good. And I, d- I don't think that we've we've really been able to share this one. And I don't know if we can talk about it. I don't know. I haven't been able to find a flyer. That's just why I haven't posted it. But apparently the day after the Imagine show on that Sunday, we have another show. Oh yeah. Where? Brayden? No. Yes. This is secretive. Raiden. We're gonna be on School of Morton, Ricky Morton's YouTube show. No. Crap. Woo! That is huge. So you guys are making a trek down there. 
Yes. Yes. So At four in the morning. That's unbelievable. One wholeheartedly congratulations. Um, that's got to be a huge pat on you guys' back to one get to hang out with Ricky and learn the ins and outs, and then being featured on the school of Morton. That's awesome. I mean, who who better to learn the secrets of tag team art than yeah. Ricky Morton, right? I agree. And you guys have had amazing trainers or spot seminars come through. Imagine that uh, seeing you guys' picture is always there. And I'm not saying name a favorite, but do you have a, a memorable one that that popped up and imagine you're like, wow, this one, this one was well worth, you know, coming to because that's an extra step out of you guys' busy days that you have to come back around to a seminar. 100% hmm. I'm a favorite right now, Dr. Tom Pritchard. That was definitely the, and no, no discredit to anybody else that's been there, but that has been the most like hands-on informative in my opinion. Right. Love Dr. He's, he's popped up a couple times, hasn't he? Or am, uh, I, or am I wrong? No, 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 you're right. I, I think three times. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say. I think I, I was trying to think if it was two or three. I think it's three. Yeah, and that's and he's awesome. Coming, he's coming back again. All right, that's in September. Yes. Yep. Yes. I did see that. And, and then also, okay. Last week, we attended the QT Marshall seminar for IWC. Which yes. Amazing again, because those are more eyes on you to get to a dark or get to an elevation and, you know, show your craft on YouTube channels and then, you know, possibly getting a, a little uh, cup of coffee on. I, I don't want to say the main brand because it's all one big happy family there at AEW, but on TNT. Mm-hmm. I mean, the only thing I want to switch is we won't be having coffee. No, 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 no. It'll be bang. Of course. It, yes. Yeah. And it won't be bang coffee either. It'll no, but we'll put it, we, we can put it in a coffee cup. I'm fine with that. Okay. A tumbler is fine as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as it's a bendy straw. <laughs> because that's the most important thing in life for bendy straws. I'm I mean, the, it has the, one of the straws that has like the 20 different loops coming out of it. Oh, yes. Hold my cup while I drink <laughs> I actually see one of you wearing the the beer hat um, that Dad wears when he's cutting grass. It has two bangs on each side that siphons into one straw. You know what I'm talking uh, about? Brain's already done it. Oh, all right. See, I missed Look that it one. Up. Damn it. I didn't do all my homework. Damn it. Mark, I'm fired. All that has already done all of that. Uh, all that. Nice. All that Brayden Elliott banging Jake Wiley. Boom. Boom. So, Brayden, you've been quiet. You've you've uh, let Jake kind of run the muck on this this time. Um, I've had more bang than him. That's why. I can tell. I was over here catching up. <laughs> catching up on the bang. Yeah. See, yeah. See, see, we mark down how many we have, and then, then at the end of the day, like, we show each other just see who beat who. And who's winning that race right now? That competition, yeah. I guess. Mm. For today, it's clearly Jake. I have I have at least fifteen marks on this paper. Oh my God! But I, I've only I, had nine. I'm not cheating. I swear. You're not cheating. No, rad boys don't cheat. No, not what at that? all. That what was that? Uh, probably somebody was getting a phone call or a text message. Well, about the Rad Boys. About the Rad Boys. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. You know, someone was tweeting about us again. It was probably Vince. Tell them we're busy. Yeah. No, uh, it was Anna J. She heard us mention her. Now she's, <laughs> she's in my DMs. She said, "Get out." Already, that's amazing. <laughs> Boom. Her <laughs> bang, even better. <laughs> bang. She was telling she was telling Bang to, to sponsor us. <laughs> well, they should. that would be awesome. I I agree. I agree. Uh, so you have stuff on uh, pro wrestling tees. Uh, what, what do we have coming up on pro wrestling tees? 
Oh, the Rain. typical shirts that you can you can uh, catch at any Rad Boys merch table on any mm-hmm. show. Yeah. So far, that's it, that's uh, that's it for right now. We're gonna bring out some maybe some exclusive pro wrestling t-shirts and and also a little sneak sneak preview or peek, I guess. Um, Brain and I have talked about possibly launching a um, Rad Boys Fall line coming soon. Nice, nice. We we'll have to get a promo code for that to to uh, Maybe. push the old Rad Boys stuff here on Can Crushers. We need a hot chick to model it. So, uh, if anyone listening, hot, if you're hot and you can model a Rad Boys crew neck, DM me. And, uh, <laughs> DM me. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> bring me more bang. DM the Rad Boys. DM Braden Elliott at a. Uh, at the underscore Braden underscore Elliot. Yeah. Wow, we're we're getting into socials already. It, it's almost like you guys and are... at Bang Energy. Get a hold of me. I need more. Or if you're just a hot chick and you want to DM me, that works too. <laughs> so the, the, and at ahead. Bang Energy, get a hold of me because I'm out. I'm, I'm out. Uh, my my twelve pack. Uh, I'm in tomorrow's twelve pack already. Wait, I found I found one more, but there's not much left. I just put down another can. Oh, he's he's trying to catch me. He's not gonna. I, I can tell he's not gonna today. Um, this is a serious question. Uh, uh, you guys are both great looking dudes. Um, well, random question because you just brought up DMs. How many DMs do you get from uh, you know, ladies of the night or anything like that that just want to meet up after shows or anything? I, I, like a Vira, lady of the night? Not no. <laughs> wow. Okay. I hate I hate to use the the terminology of ring rat, but it, it's it's true. I mean, do you guys get that? I mean, you guys are young. You're you're up and coming. You're huge. You know, you're you're rad. You're doing random acts of kindness. You're saving cats from trees. You're getting stuck in trees. All of that. Um, on a serious note, I mean, and I've never asked anybody this before, but. Do you do you get fans that are kind of willy nilly about meeting up and stuff? I had one ask me for ring worn socks. <laughs> did you? Did He's you not lying on her? that one. Did you sell them to her, or did you just give them no. to? Her? No, neither. I didn't give them away. Good. Disgusting. It is disgusting. <laughs> um, I have just fairly recently had my fair share of weirdos. I'm not going to lie on that one, but we won't get into that topic because some of it wasn't so PG. Okay. Yeah. What I, great rule, kids. You know, don't worry about women. Go right. to school, eat vegetables, drink bang. You know, the usual things. The usual. And, and have a pizza eating contest amongst your peers. Don't choke. Make them throw up for eating too much pizza. Don't do that. So That's you, a rad boy thing. So you guys live off of pizza and bangs, but is there is there anything else that kind of gets you going in the morning, like Magic Spoon? Or I picture you guys again, you know, children and nineties freak shows, and, and I don't mean it mean, um, just crazy guys. I also figure that you guys would just live off of cereal once in a while too. Are you at- about me lucky charms. <laughs> um well you're right. Um cereal is excellent. Any time of the day. And we said about soda being gross earlier, but there is one soda that the Rad Boys will occasionally drink from time to time. Orange and that soda. what? Orange soda? Orange soda is not bad. I was going to say surge. I chug that in the morning. Oh, oh, oh! Wow. Well, that—that's almost like uh, gimmick and bring back or it, it's it's the first energy drink ever to me. Oh, uh, yeah. Essentially, so you're going and way back. needs to bring back Ecto Cooler. Just throwing that out there. Yes, I, I agree. You you guys are you guys are privy of TikTok and, and everything as well. Uh, I thought I saw a couple months ago somebody actually made Ecto Cooler with a couple different ones. So I think it's it's mm. to make. We just need to look into it and maybe we should just make it ourselves. 
Yes, and then sell it and well, make money. Cl- yes, clearly, you guys would bottle it and call it Rad Cooler. Again, I, I can market anything. You can, <laughs> you can market anything. Apparently, a sweaty pair of socks. <laughs> I'm not selling those. That's cool. Yeah, that, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Yucky. Yeah, yucky. Gross. Um, we're going to the School of Morton as this podcast has just gone all over the place, trying to catch back up. Uh, who are you facing? As per usual with the rad voice. Right. And it's <laughs> no other way. And thank God you guys are. Like I, I've literally thrown any script that I've had out the window. The dog's now eating it. Whatever. Um, cut it out. Cut it Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who are you taking on at the School of Morton? Then we'll get to talk about 90s TV shows. Because thanks, Dave. I have no cool idea. What was that, Braden? I have no idea. Yeah, I, I have no idea who we're, who we're facing either yet. Okay. Maybe Ricky matter. himself. We don't know. Well, maybe Robert will pop in. You guys literally will take on the Rock and Roll Express. Oh. I dropped my bang can for a second. See, I, I, I roll it right back around because the Rock and Roll Express would clearly be one of you guys' dream matches, wouldn't it? Oh, absolutely. Definitely. Along, hey, ben, hey, along with others. Chuck another bang up for me. Chuck another <laughs> bang up. So you're now an 11 since yeah. we started. Okay. What? You can't be catching up. He, he, you're out. I'm out. How many more you got over there? Do I have to run over there? I got a case sitting next to me here. I'm I'm gonna run over there and steal a couple. You better, because if, if you're on fifteen, we got twenty more minutes at least uh, of yeah. of this. How many can you do in twenty minutes? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, I guess we will. All right. So we brought up the Rock and Roll Express as one of your dream matches. Um, who else? I, I would imagine. The Young Bucks. I'm just going to name them for you. A New Day. Is there anybody from the 80s, 90s that you'd be like, yeah, I want to be in the ring with them as well? The Dudleys, Edge and Christian, the Hardys, uh, the New Age Outlaws, DX. You name Gorillas them. of Destiny. Wow. Frisco Brothers. Gallows and Anderson. So, I also want to throw this, this team out there. Um, they're they're a little bit more obviously well known as well. The homegrown heroes, Bill Collier and Jimmy the Hippie. Bill Collier, if you're listening, <laughs> this is my challenge to you. Rad Boy <laughs> versus the homegrown heroes. Somebody book it. <laughs> Do it up. Hashtag book more tag matches. <laughs> yes. Main event. Right? How about the Bill runway? Collier, I have my eyes on you. <laughs> the run- I'm going to military press him. The runway is one of the hot teams now in our part of the the neck of the woods, if you may say. Um, I could see you two, you know, both teams putting on a hell of a match as well. Runway, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, we'll beat them too. And then, money shot. Ooh. So you're taking two PW... You, well, essentially, you're going to take the Imagine Tag Champions from whomever wins it uh, on the 21st. You're going after the runway at 2PW, and then you're going right up to IWC and taking on Money Shot. And we're going to run away with Dime Piece. Everybody's <laughs> going to run away with Dime Piece. And, I mean, we just we, we just learned last weekend from two of the best, in my opinion, TME. Like, right? Those two, those two are awesome. Love both of them, and uh, they definitely helped us a lot along the way, and they taught us a lot this past weekend. Yeah, yeah, they're they're great guys. They really are. Um, My beef with them is, and a lot of people that listen to the podcast know, they were the first team to beat the fraternity out of IWC. They were the longest reigning tag team champions, and I just, just, uh, my heart is still broken over that. Well, I mean, from what I've seen of the fraternity, they, they, were awesome, but I mean, it's TME we're talking about, right? Yeah, and now they book sign those guys, somebody for sure, for sure. They, they deserve sign, it. Sign you guys, yeah, sign us too, yeah, yeah, and sign Bill Collier, oh. yeah, sign Bill Collier too. All right, if we're, if we're just yelling people to sign, He's running again, uh, 
Spencer Slade. Sign Spencer Slade. Yeah, sign Spencer too. Good dude. Great dude. Uh, probably one of my best. Sign friends Derek Dillinger in wrestling. Oh, Derek Dillinger. Jesus, it's sign sign everybody. <laughs> no, not everybody. Just okay. just the ones that that would sign Money Shot too. Right. Just keep dime piece for us. Yes. No. I, Definitely. Yeah, Julia will kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch that match. Julia beating me up or dime piece as we know her. Yeah, she would decimate me. But thanks, guys. Thanks for uh, wanting me to get beat by dime piece. Mm. Yeah. Well, I only want her to win because I call winner. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if I get a small package on her? <laughs> he already said he called winner. Right. Then I get crushed by Braden. Yeah, I mean. Awesome. Uh, it won't be that interesting. Headlock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say the catchphrase for for yourself. For me? No, for Braden's catchphrase. He left it. Yeah, there we go. He needs to stop running. He really does. I know. It's because he's drinking. I can, you know, actually, now now that I think about it, I can see him way over on the other side of the parking lot, and he's he's doing jumping jacks. Why are you watching me? What? <laughs> it, well, we have the gym after this. Duh. Yeah, stalk me in the gym parking lot. Freaking no. Weirdo. That's what that's what the that's what the fan that wants the dirty socks is doing. <laughs> <laughs> right back around again. Uh, I don't know. What, what else do we want to talk about? We've talked about your merch. We talked about your craziness. How Bang, if Bang doesn't sponsor you here after this, I don't know what the hell is going to go on. Uh, August 21st, we have Imagine Pro Wrestling. August 28th, again, uh, Imagine Pro Wrestling right down the road. You guys were just at IWC. Like, where else besides School of Morton? Because I saw a list that you guys are kind of booked all the way, all the way. Do we want to do some long shots? Like, what are you doing in September? What are you doing in October? Where can... Uh... Well, we want, we're we trying to get into ESW up in New York. Um, Mega from in Ohio. Um, where else? OVW would be an amazing one for you guys. Just throw OVW that out there because, would be would be amazing because there's you guys have a slight connection with somebody that knows people at OVW. Yes, maybe Spencer. That, yeah, I was saying me since. Oh, and you? Yes. <laughs> Spencer's one too. Yeah, Spencer might get you. <laughs> you want an orange and green color and elbow shirt. We do yes. need orange and green collar and elbow shirts. I completely agree. I, I agree. We have the Blue World Order, so why, why the hell can't we have the Rad, Boy, Rad Boys Nation? I forget yes, the Z and, all the time. I'm sorry, guys. It's 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 okay. We'll we'll let that one slide. Okay. But I I want Rad Boy rideable coolers. Oh. Wow! Now you like guys beer? are just marketing everything. That's what we do. If we could wrestle beer money, we would ride yes. them down while they ride their little beer cooler down. <laughs> I think I should just put all four of you on a rideable cooler and have like a demolition derby in the middle of the ring. First team to fall oh. off loses. Mm. Your your coolers are full of bang, they're full of beer. So, you know, you have to watch that nothing gets broken. And Those are full of Bang mixers. Yes. Yes. And then then I'll throw it off the cooler and hopefully they chase after it. There you go. And then we'll hit them from behind. Yeah. No, because we right, no, you guys don't hit people from behind. No, no, no. We have to no, in a grab that. derby we will. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Watch out. <laughs> All right, gentlemen. Uh Excited to see you guys this coming Saturday in Altoona, four o'clock start time. And are you guys excited for SummerSlam? Let's talk about SummerSlam a little bit. There you go. Let's make some predictions. Are Rad Boys on SummerSlam? 
I know, no, no. They're not. I'm not excited then. Okay. We'll be tweeting about us during it. <laughs> we will be tweeting about you during it. Yes, we will. We will start a Rad Boys Nation chant tweet. All right. I, at seven o'clock, I'm tagging you guys both with the Rad Boys chant. Yes, From I'll my, probably be on like my 97th. my um. 97th bang, yes, because we have to get up at 4 in the morning to go down to the school of Morton. Oh, that's a trap. to go that night. That's funny. <laughs> what? So you never said go- anything about bed. Oh, oh, okay. Right. Yep. Bang and Jake's going to be partying. All night long. <laughs> Bay Bay. All right, yeah, guys. I went there. You did go there. You did go there. One of the hottest free agents out there, baby. Hmm. Danhausen. Danhausen. I agree. Yes. See, another spot, um, I, I think you guys, you know, with OVW being uh, associated with Impact as well, you know, you get a shot at OVW, you have people coming down there all the time. Uh, maybe you you take on Finjuice. Yes, that would be amazing. And then maybe that could potentially lead into New Japan. Let's go to Ring of Honor and team with Danhausen. Yes. yes, Danhausen would probably be would be also another good entry as a third rad boy. And, I, and then we'll wrestle Shane Taylor Promotions and win the six man tag belts. Yes. Wow, we just had Shane Taylor on a couple of weeks ago, and he's coming back in about a month so i'm gonna have to make sure i bring that up to him yes yes you do you do that i will the rad boys the rad and boys you tell are... him you tell him to tell ring of honor to sign the rad boys I, yes i think he has some pull there i'm not i'm not sure though he's got a lot of pull there all right gentlemen. tell dan Housen that uh, that will give him teeth if he gets assigned Guys, one thing I want to say to you in, in all seriousness, um, WrestleCade's coming up here in the end of November, right after Thanksgiving. I, I truly think you should reach out to Tracy Myers and uh, get on one of the cards down there. Uh, MLW is, AML is, is part of it. They always take... Um, I don't want to say outside talent, but it's, seriously, it's a North Carolina-based thing. But you, you have people from all over. I'd reach out to WrestleCade because that would be a great spot because there's hundreds of thousands of freaking people down there that whole weekend in and out. And just to get your faces, your lovely bang faces all over the place, WrestleCade is where you guys need to be. It's a great weekend as well. Let's do it. What? what? We need to be everywhere. You do yes, need to be everywhere. everywhere. I agree. And we're and we got to be there. You need to be there. You really need yeah. to reach out to Tracy Myers. Just reach out to WrestleCade on the old Facebook and everything, and tell them, "Hey, look at us. We'll bring a case of bang for everybody in attendance." Uh, that's a lot of bang. They bring us a case. Yeah, they, yeah or bring us a better. bring us the bang truck so I can get on top of it and spray people. Okay, uh, serious questions again as we get back to it because that was all over the place. Um, where do you guys see seriously in, in five years? Your your goals in five years is the Rad Boys. Where do you guys see each other, or yourselves, or us, or anything? Hmm. I should be drinking alcohol right now because that's how much I'm all over the place right now. Ah, uh, well. As Braden said before, which I'll let him uh, start, and then I will take over after. Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> you let you get a chance to refresh here. Take a sip of bang. All right. <laughs> yes. See now, now, now. See, he knows. He knows. I, I want to be everywhere in five years. I don't care where it is. I want a TV deal. Uh, I want Rad Boys uh, action figures. I want micro brawlers. I want everything. <laughs> Tag team championships. Yeah. I w- we want the rat. We want rad boys ice cream. Green. We want rad, we want rad fest. It's like Oz fest, but it's just the rad boys. Yeah, and it's wrestling related too. 
with with rad music. Maybe the yeah, we just beat up we just beat up two jabronis in the ring, dressed up like like older Nickelodeon characters. I would so like, I would so sign up for that if I could. Gonna, dress, I would dress up as whoever the hell you want me to to do this. <laughs> What, what, what was the bully's name again in, in Doug? For real? Uh, yeah, see, now, now, now I'm asking you questions. Yeah, I, I can't pull it up on my phone because that's the way I record right now. Roger? Yes! Ding, ding! Ding, ding, point! Point from the running man. <laughs> I'm uh, not running. You're, no, what do you do? You're jumping jack still. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Just making sure. Um, and this is this is a serious question. All right. You, you have all these youngsters coming up. They want to be part of the Rad Boy Nation. They want to get the same spot that you guys are right now. What do you tell the little Jimmys, the little Johnnies, the little Jessicas? You know, because Rad Boy Nation isn't just for boys. It's just because you guys are boys. What do you tell them to get into pro wrestling? And this is serious. Um, what do you tell them? You know, just drink bang and then you'll be a wrestler. No, get trained and get, get Correct. trained by a, um, reputable school is number one. Yeah. That, that's the easiest one that, 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 that then get nerf guns and start shooting people. <laughs> and then you're in instant the rad boy nation. <laughs> yes. And then get the sugar-free bang for the kids. Right, because we don't need obese children out there yet, or ever. And eat protein by the scoop like Brayden, with no water. That's how a man does it. Oh. <laughs> oh. And then you follow it with bang? Of course, yes. yes. Take notes, Bill Collier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to military press him. Above my head. You saw his last match against Matthew Justice at IWC. Um, he, that, that was a banger of a match, by the way. Was a banger of a match. I, I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to fit bang in the description <laughs> that I have to type up for this. But it's good. Well, I'll, I'll take personal challenge. We'll, we'll take a sip. No, actually more like a chug. Every time you write bang in the description. I'll drink a can for every time there's a bang in the description. Ooh. Is this going to be on – This is. This, are you guys going to do it together? Yes. On, and it will be part of um, the Instagram series that we have up currently. Okay. Can Crushers made us do it. Deal. Deal. I have to uh, – I did it again. <laughs> you play with my heart. <laughs> and they're, they're not going to be egregious ones. I'm not going to say Braden bang, Jake bang. I, I'm just not going to put no, it no. willy nilly. They have to actually make sense. But yeah, and and it's, you don't need to put our names because we're both going to drink one with every one that you put. Right, right. Yeah, yes. I, I know that. Yeah, I, I, clearly I understand that. It'll just be uh, can't crush your spotlight with the rad boys. So, yeah, I don't have to put your names. Everybody knows who the hell the, the Rad Boys are. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear. All right, gentlemen. It, it's been great. It's been fun. It's been radical. What else do you have to take us out? Mm. Well, we are the Rad Boys, the most dynamic duo. In sports, entertainment, and sports entertainment. Rad boys in the with the craze of every age, baby. Don't forget that. That's true. We are the craze of every age. It's rad boys or nothing. For bookings, you can contact us at uh, Jake. What's the email again? <laughs> oh, goodness, you put me on the spot. <laughs> I was looking at a bag, trying to figure out which flavor I wanted next. I forgot the email. I'm I'm getting it. Radboysbookings at gmail.com. See, I knew it. Or slide I did not look your, that up. Or slide into your DMs too. You guys are all right with that, right? Yes. Just don't ask us for uh, dirty socks. That's not rad. 
That is not rad. Gentlemen, thank you, and I will see you this coming Saturday, 4 p.m. at the Juniata Civic Center Association building, whatever, in Altoona, Pennsylvania, for Imagine Wrestling. I can't wait to see you. Um, Slaughter, Sega, and Valor. Yes. Round two, boys. I love you all. <laughs> Leave Brittany alone. Well, that was a show I lost control of real quick. But that's all right. It was a banger. Uh, probably one of my favorite shows. We had no script. We just went at it. And Jake Wiley and Brayden Elliott, the Rad Boys, just brought it. Oh, my God. Guys, if you've never seen them, if you didn't see them last weekend at IWC, make sure you get to Altoona this coming weekend at the Zuniata Civic Association Building. Uh, it starts at 4 o'clock, so get there. You'll be able to watch Imagine Pro Wrestling in El Tuna. Scoot back home, watch your SummerSlam. Even if you're late for a SummerSlam, Peacock's probably not going to work, so you'll have to watch it on Sunday anyway. Guys, check out the Rad Boys. Make sure you like all their social medias. They kind of have their own sh- Dicks going that they're doing random things. They are saving cats from trees as they're drinking bang. They're they're doing this. They're doing doing that. This team is so high energy, so pumped up, and it's because of bang. It is because of bang. Hopefully, they get a sponsorship, which rolls over to us because I don't think I've mentioned bang or anybody's mentioned bang as much as this podcast bang 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 i I think it's like mick foley sitting the other side of the room with me just bang bang guys it was a great show seriously watch these two they're going to go far they have the mentality they have the great training from kato to go with it imagine pro wrestling is something to watch too if you're in altoona you see stars like bill collier you see stars like spencer slade Go watch. You will not be disappointed at all. Rad Boys against the Young Bucks. I said it a couple months ago. I thought, hmm, but this would be a a banger. Yep, I had to use it one more time. Guys, make sure you go over and like our social medias and all that nice jazz that we have. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of it's at CanCrusher69. Send us an email. Tell us who else you want to get on the show. If you're listening to this and your talent, reach out to me at CanCrusher69 at gmail.com. We'll slide you in or slide into the DMs. You might get banged. As long as you're not selling smelly socks, you'll be fine. Guys, remember... Just because you're trash doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called the garbage can, not the garbage cannot.